Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Ceasefire is established today from 12 o'clock for humanitarian reasons. Ministry of Defense Azerbaijan used UAV to attack the unique province of Armenia. Parliament of Cyprus unanimously passed a resolution condemning Azeri aggression in Artsakh. The number of terrorists transported by Turkey to Azerbaijan has increased from 900 to 2,000. Heavy fire in Hatay, province of Western Armenia. The historic cave in Western Armenia was destroyed by treasure hunters. As a result of consultations between the foreign ministers of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia, it has been decided to establish a ceasefire in Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone from 12 o'clock. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov made the announcement after more than nine hours of consultations with Armenian Foreign Minister Zohrab Manatsakanyan and Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov. The ceasefire will be established for humanitarian purposes, that is, exchange of prisoners of war and bodies with the mediation and in line with the criteria of the International Committee of the Red Cross, Lavrov said. He added that concrete parameters of the ceasefire will be agreed additionally. The Republic of Armenia and the Republic of Azerbaijan will proceed to substantial negotiations with the mediation of the OSCE in Minsk Group co-chairs, with a view of reaching the soonest settlement of the conflict in a peaceful way. The sides agreed to accept the unchangeability of the negotiation format. Azerbaijan used an attack UAV in the Sunni region of Armenia. The press secretary of the Armenian Defense Ministry, Shushan Stepanyan, stated this on her Facebook page. Artsakh Ombudsman Artak Beklarian said that in the morning the Azerbaijani side again targeted the civilian infrastructure of Stepanakert. Chairman of the Standing Committee on Science, Education, Culture, Diaspora, Youth and Sport of the National Assembly of Armenia, Mkhitar Hayrapetyan posted the following on his Facebook page. Today, the Parliament of Cyprus unanimously passed the resolution condemning the Azeri aggression in Artsakh. The House of Representatives also condemned the full support of Turkey to this aggression with the participation of paid mercenaries. Finally, it condemned the bombing of civilian areas and called for immediate ceasefire and peaceful negotiations. The governments of Azerbaijan, Turkey, the Takfiri terrorists and Israel have formed an alliance that poses a threat to the northwestern region of Iran. As Armen Press reports, the Iranian Mashraq News writes about it. The website said that the number of terrorists transported by Turkey to Azerbaijan has increased from 900 to 2,000. According to the website, the terrorists are from Sultan Murad, Jaish al-Shah, al-Hamza, al-Nohba, al-Sham groups. Forest fires in the Iskenderun and Belen region of Hatay province of Western Armenia have intensified under the influence of wind. The volume of the fire has expanded to include settlements. A large number of teams from the police, fire department and forest directorate went to the scene to put out the fire. Medical assistance was provided to the victims of smoke. The fire covered an area of 300 to 400 hectares. It affected seven apartments, 11 private houses, 14 institutions, 8 factories, 4 vehicles, 3 warehouses, 35 beehives and 70 civilians. The Palanla Cave in the Adiyaman Samosat province of Western Armenia, which is known to have survived from the Stone Age and is listed as an archaeological site, has been attacked by treasure hunters. The treasure hunters tore and stole the carved deer, goats, and human images from the inner walls of the cave damaged by chemical paints. Archaeologist Yusuf Nazla said that the iron gates at the two entrances of the cave were broken and some of the 45 carved petroglyphs on the walls of the damaged cave were left today. There are various damages in the Palanli cave. These destructions were done by the locals and the treasure hunters, he said. Now let us represent your attention a song by Sahak Sahakan. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.